The 1996 Metro Pop Song Festival was inspired by the once renowned Metro Manila Popular Music Festival, which helped develop the Philippine music industry by using new to composers, performers, and arrangers, as well as becoming the launching ground for new musical talent. With the first grand prize winning song when it began in 1978, and the string of laudable hits that followed, it was proof na talagang kay ganda ng ating musika. From then, many popular songwriters, composers, and performers, both amateurs and professionals, would trace their roots to the prestigious festival which closed in 1986. And now, 10 years after the last popular music festival, DNA, under the auspices of the RBS Foundation, Beer has the mission to recognize and celebrate once more the genius of the Filipino musical artist by holding the 1996 Metro Pop Song Festival. in tonight's song festival we present to you finalist number one Mike Villegas at Bayang Barrios sa kanilang dilikhang awit na Bagong Umaga at isa sa awit ni Bayang Barrios finalist number two Bob Serrano and Adele Gabot for their song entry Out in the Open to be sung by Zebedee and Angelica. Finalist number three, Jun Lacanienta at Linda Padlan para sa awiting Hangin, Ulan, Araw at Lupa. Nayahandog sa atin ni Dessa. Finalist number four, Trina Bellamide, with her song entitled, Shine. To be sung by Sweet Plantado. Finalist number five, Jimmy Antiporda, para sa kanyang katang, may pag-ibig pa kaya? Naaawitin ng South Border. Finalist number six, Nono Itan, with this song entitled, Now and Hereafter. Interpreted by LMA Saison and Arthur, together with the Toy Symphony. <music> Finalist number seven, Charo Unite, for her composition, All I Ever Want. In a rendition by Rico J. Puno.
finalist number eight, Frank Sincol and Ito Rapadas for their song entitled, Believe. And sung by Ito Rapadas. Conducting the orchestra, we have renowned musical arranger and director, Lori B. Illustre. And hosting tonight's festival, we have Senator Tito Soto together with Miss Don Zulueta. Ikinagagalak po namin kayong mga kasama sa gabing ito. Sa gabing kung saan magtatagis ang talino at galing ng labindalaw, labindalawa, labindalawa na song na finalist na sumali at gumahok sa ating song festival. So join us tonight as we celebrate the genius of the Filipino artist here in the 1996 Metropop Song Festival. something no? sa likod pa lang yung... sa likod lang ng bahay namin yan guitar and me tapos sinisipan ko yung refrain gusto kong gumawa ng kanta na nag nagsignify symbolize ng hope magohong ko ako bibili ako na camera i called you on a wednesday you faxed me some lyrics on a thursday I had a Melody Friday. We recorded it on Saturday. On Saturday. That's so then, uh, that was the, the deadline. Weekend. Was the deadline was so Monday. The follow. Kailangan magayos ng katawan, magayos ng muka, <laughs> matulog ng maigi. PC. <laughs> <laughs>
our 12 finalists drew lots to determine the order of their appearance. At naging makatawag pansin ang awit ng ating unang finalist dahil sa makabuluhang panawagan or panawag na nilalaman ng awitin. A song by Mike Villegas and Bayang Barrios, arranged by Mike Villegas and Mel Villena, and interpreted by Bayang Barrios. Pakinggan po natin ang awit na pinamagatang Bagong Umaga. Each of the 12 finalists competing tonight have already been awarded individual plaques of recognition and a cash award of 20,000 pesos. At kung magwawagi sila, major prizes are at stake para sa first, second, and third place winners. Half a million pesos goes to the first prize winner, 300,000 pesos goes to the second prize winner, 200,000 pesos goes to the third prize winner. Each of them will also be given a trophy specially designed and created by renowned glass sculptor Ramon Orlina. Malalaki po ang premium nakalaan para sa kanila. Ngunit 
higit sa mga cash awards na ito. Para sa isang kompositor, walang kapares ang uh, madinig ng iba ang kanyang awit na bunga ng pag-ibig sa kanyang sining. Lalo na kapag ang awit ay nagmumula sa puso at ito'y tinig at himig ng isang pusong umiibig. Atin pong pakinggan ngayon ang awitin ng ating second finalist, a song written by Bob Serrano and Adele Gabot and arranged by Bob Serrano himself to be interpreted by Zebedee and Angelica. Here's a song entitled, Out in the Open. Tapos, um, ilalagay ko sa bangko ko. Yun lang. Actually, pero na kami pinag-usapan na gagawin talaga sa pera. 
Kaya lang, medyo confidential. Enjoy din eh. Enjoy itong ano eh, lahat ng ginawa namin, recording. At tapos nakilala namin si Desa. Nako, hindi. <laughs> hindi. Actually, more of excitement yung nararamdaman ko. Kasi hindi naman ako yung kakanta eh. So, siguro magpapakyut lang ako on that evening. <laughs> I wrote the song specifically for the Metro Pop. I wrote Shine for, for the contest. And yun, made it the final. Sumali ako para yumaman. <laughs> Popular music has always reflected the times. More than 10 years ago in the old music festival, ang nadinig natin ay ang mga awiting tungkol sa ating sariling musika, tungkol sa mga kapwa nating may kapansanan, at tungkol sa pagbibigay pag-ibig sa kapwa. Isa pa sa naging paboritong paksa sa mga festival noon ay ang kabataan at ang kanilang kinabukasan. At sa paglipas ng sampung taon, eto, lumaki na po ang kabataan at iba na ang nakikita nilang kinabukasan. Pakinggan po natin ngayon ang awit ng ating third finalist at ating tuklasin ang mensahe ng nilikhang awit ni na June Lacanienta at Linda Padlan. Isinaayos din ni June Lacanienta at ihahandog sa atin ni Desa ang awiting Hangin, Ulan, Araw at Lupa. No. 
Totoo nga ang sinasabi ng ilan na ang komentaryo ng bayan ay di lamang nadirinig sa balita at nababasa sa mga pahayagan. Ang mga inuugong na mensahe ng panahon ay atin ding nadirinig sa mga nilikhang awit ngayon. Nandiyan ang uh, mga awiting makajos, mga awiting makatao, mga awiting makakalikasan, at minsan mga awiting makarena. <laughs> Ngunit para sa ilang mga kompositor, ang mensahe ng kanilang awit ay mula sa isang personal experience na nais nice nilang ilahad sa iba tulad po ng awitin ng ating fourth finalist. A song composed by Trina Belamide, arranged by Marvin Querido and Arnold Buena, and interpreted by Sweet Plantado. Let's all listen to the song entitled, Shine. Siguro kaya ako proud sa song ko dahil binuhos ko talaga yung, yung uh, you know, lahat ng energy ko, pati na nalaman ko sa music para gumanda yung song ko. Especially nung reco final recording status na talagang inabot ako ng mga tatlong araw na bimix, hindi ako lumalabas sa studio. Yung mga singers ko naman ay magagaling talaga. My finest uh, 
physical work. Kanina ba yun? Hindi. Nawala lang sa isip ko. May... Aray. Hello? Sally? Hello? Nagkalit sa akin si Sally Nalimutan ang date nung tanghali Gusto ko kasing sumali Sa metro pa, yeh baka sakali Bata o matanda Babae o lalaki Basta Pinoy pwedeng sumali Yeh Isang pop song na may commercial appeal Original, so please do not steal Oh, Sally, mag-inspire ka naman Half a million, di mo ba feel? Oh, Sally, oh, oh, Sally Sa metro pa pa ko sa Sally Oh, Sally, oh, oh, Sally sa Metro Pop, tayo sumali. Ang ganda, di ba? Oo. Hindi, ano, kasi iraming ko lang sana yung kaset mo. Magre-record ako nitong... At nakabuo na ako nung kanta eh. Bale, mag... Are... Hello? Ali? Kasama sa paglilikha ng isang awit ay ang pagbibigay ng isang pamagat na hindi lamang nababagay sa awit, hindi lamang orihinal at madulas isa wika, kundi isang pamagat na madaling tandaan. Minsan nga ay mas matagal pa ang panahong inilalaan sa pagpapamagat kaysa sa panahon ng paglilikha ng buong awit. Kung maaari kasi, the title should tell it all. Ang susunod na awit ay may pamagat na makatawag pansin dahil ito ay isang awit na pinamagatan ng isang katanungan. Mm -hmm. Ang awit ng ating ikalimang finalist ay nilikha at isinaayos ni Jimmy Antiporda and interpreted to us by South Border. Ating dinggin ang awiting May Pag-ibig Pa Kaya? Oh, 
ang una kong gagawin ay ibabalik ko ang kapurihan sa Panginoong Diyos. Tama. Kasi biyaya niya sa akin tapos sa kalit, di ba? Mm. Ito pala, ano gagawin mo kung nanalo ko pa? Kung um, bibigyan mo ba kami, di... Ah, siyempre, meron niya. Bibigyan din ako. Oo. Oh. Ah, good. Oh. Para kay Nonoy talaga, o. Oh. I-expect talaga ng... The Lord God. isang Pilipino ay pinaiikutan ng pag-ibig. Because of this, he has become a master when it comes to writing love songs. Sa dinami-rami ng ating mga kundiman and love ballads, it requires a special skill to compose a love song that will make hearts croon and swoon to the tune. Here now is the song composed by Nonoy Tan and arranged by Alvin Nunez, interpreted by Ella May Saison and Arthur together with the Toy Symphony. Let's all listen to finalist number six, a song entitled Now and Hereafter.
the 1996 Metropop Song Festival continues with a very special number from Ogie Alcacid, Melissa Gibbs, Ding Dong Avanzado, Aliona, and Megan Aguilar. All this when we return. Kakaiba sa mga nakaraang mga music festivals, sinigurado po nitong song festival na ito na ang judging ay maging akma sa isang pop song festival. Instead of having a small set of select judges, the Metro Pop Song Festival has enlisted as many as 40 judges. Individuals who merit because they matter to the popular music industry, being professionals, performers, artists in the music and entertainment industry, together with private individuals who represent the ordinary pop music listener. Let us now meet each one of them. judges natin sa gabing ito with Mr. Ryan Kayabyab as chairman of the board of judges. In the judging, foremost in the mind of our 40 judges is the appeal and potential popularity of the song kasama ang musical content, ang lyrics at ang overall impact ng awitin. The final judging shall be based on the actual performance tonight carrying a weight of uh, 60%. This score is then added to the scores in the preliminary judging, which carry the weight of 40%. Judging in an event such as this will be no easy task for our judges. Aside from their personal appeal to the 12 songs they will judge, they also consider the set guidelines and criteria for judging kung alin sa labing dalawa ang may qualities of a potential hit song. Yep. Based on uh, our past experience from the music festivals, the, the success of a song does not end on festival night. Sa katunayan nga, maraming mga awit noong walong nakaraang Metro Manila Popular Music Festival na hindi nagwagi ng grand prize, ngunit higit na sumikat sa iba. Mga awiting napamahal na sa atin, pati na rin sa ating mga anak na ngayon ating madirinig sa isang medley ng Metro Pop hit songs arranged by June Latonio. Mga kaibigan, please welcome Ogie Alcacid, 
Melissa Gibbs, Dingdong Avanzado, Aliona, and Megan Aguilar. Let you know that I'm in love with you. All I want is you. How I need you. So please be my lady. Maybe you could lose the pain if you just tell me. Say the words you long to whisper that I want to hear. Some things on your mind. Is it hidden in your smile? Be my lady. Just forget the past. It's time to mend your broken heart. No walls divide us now. So there are the tears in your eyes. Nothing can stop us now.
Song, and I've never written one before. I'm in love with Charo. Because to do a song like that, to create a song like that, there should be feelings. Because if you're not in love, I'm in love with you. You don't want to write to reach you, to touch you, to feel you. Ba.
like to thank our main sponsors for tonight, uh, tonight's show, PLDT, the telecommunications company, Land Bank, San Miguel, and Close Up. The most important element of a good song is its melody. And in many cases, ang isang magandang melodiya ay nakasalalay mismo sa mga lyrics na sinulat para sa awitin. At dito po ay masusing pinakinggan ng mga judges ang pagsasama ng letra ng awit at ang ibinigay na himig ng kompositor. We take you now to our next song entry, a song composed by Charo Unite and arranged by Homer Flores and interpreted by Mr. Rico J. Puno. Let's listen to song finalist number seven entitled, All I Ever Want. to be
excited ako. Metro pop din, di ba sa basta? Excited talaga. First time ulit First na time mag... Gumanap itong Metro Pop and we're happy to be part of the Metro Pop. 1996 Metro Pop. Ah, basta dumanan na lang sa isip ko yun. Basta... Ah. Tapos yung... Ako naman yung lyrics. 30 minutes lang natapos ko na yun. Mga kaibigan, bagamat labindalawang mga finalists ang naglalaban-laban sa Pop Song Festival ito, sa labas po nito, kasama na ang industriya ng original Filipino music, matindi po ang katapat nilang lahat when they eventually compete for airplay. The Filipino pop song writer of today comes face to face not only with other local artists but competes with the likes of Michael Jackson, Madonna, Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston and so many modern pop artists heard on the radio. With the song entries we have already heard and with the next song entry we're about to hear, that modern pop strain underscores each one. Let's all listen now to song finalist number eight. A song created by Frank Sincol and Ito Rapadas and arranged by Mark Lopez. Here is Ito Rapadas with the song Believe. Say it all 
yung ang awit mo was written in about 10 minutes kasi kung kung mahaba yung pagwo-work ko sa isang song hindi ko na tinutuloy Siyempre, the inspiration for my song is my one and only love um the one who loves me every day all my life Ah uh, nung na panood ko si Lani kumanta sa in the piano bar uh, I decided to write a song for her Kinakabahan, excited, at saka, um, uh, of course, yung privilege na nalalamdaman ko. Many scholars have said that music is the most spiritual of the arts. Among the arts, it is said to be the strongest in moving the spirit and inspiring the soul. And for that reason, nations have their anthems, movements have their heralds, religions have their hymns, while soldiers, sportsmen, and workers have their chants to sing. At maihahambing dito ang awit ng ating ninth song finalist na inilikha at isinaayos ni Greg Caro at ating madirinig sa mga tinig ni Narani Raimundo kasama ang uno sa likhang pinamagatang Ang Awit Mo.
1996 Metro Pop Song Festival becomes a revelation in many ways. Each and every song that you have heard so far has been with a distinct style. Sari-sari ang mga influences. May suabe, may maindayog na balads, may awit na may ethnic flavor. Meron din mga awit na mayroong world beat sound. Pero hindi lang mga bagong awitin ang madirinig po ninyo sa gabing ito dahil nandito din ang mga bagong boses na matutuklasan sa song festival na ito. And moving on to our next finalist, madirinig po natin ang awit na nilikha ni Jimmy Borja at isinaayos ni Ray Magtoto. At iahandog sa atin ni Lina Misalucha. Pakinggan po natin ang awiting Ang Iibigin Ay Ikaw. this point, alam ko na na um, kumbaga alam na ng langit kung sino ang mananalo. So, I'll just do my best at bahala na kung ano mangyari. This is my uh, first bet sa entry ko sa Music World. 
Super tindi. Sobrang galing. Hindi na makatulog. Gusto kong itape lahat ng work nila sa radio. Tanging extra copies. Tapos ang sampung awit na inyo nang nadinig tungkol sa pag-ibig at buhay sa mundo at tayo ay nasa kasukdulan na ng paligsahan. Tulad daw na isang mahabang kwento, siyempre kailangan meron daw twist. <laughs> Kakaiba kasi ang awit na isinali ng ating 11th finalist na si Iman Panaligan at isinaayos ni Butch Miraflor. Pakinggan po natin si Iman Panaligan and the ethnic faces sa kanilang awiting Di ako marunong kumanta. Magartista na lang ako.
siguro naman hypocrite siguro kami pag dinami sinabi niyo hindi kami nag-expect oh, okay. and we are thankful we are thankful to the Grand Lord Grand Prize <laughs> if we win happy yeah, yeah of course but of course we have that uh, I think we have that good combination Nox the done it done basta ako God's will be done <laughs> yeah. As we lead in to our 12th and last finalist, nais namin bigyan diin na ang mahalaga sa gabing ito ay ang ating mga nadirinig na awit. Bagamat malaking bagay ang naitutulong ng mga batikang musical arrangers sa pag-areglo ng awit at ng kanilang mga interpreters, nakatuon pa rin tayo doon sa laman at himig ng awitin. Let us listen to our 12th song finalist, a song composed by Danny Tan and Edith Gallardo, and also arranged by Danny Tan. A song interpreted to us by Jaya, entitled, Sometimes You Just Know. Sometimes you know Love is starting to grow You can't say no Feelings will show Your heart says that sometimes you just know oh, Sometimes, somehow you know Sometimes 
Sa pagbabalik ng 1996 Metro Pop Song Festival, abangan sina Richard Burke, Haji Alejandro, Cynthia Patag, Nanette Inventor, Mitch Valdez, Pinky Marquez, Mon David, and Marco Season. Matapos ang ilang sandali. The Metro Pop has been the venue of many great singing talents in the past to showcase their singing talents when they competed with each other singing new songs. Little did they know that uh, the new and original songs they performed then would at this point be now part of our musical treasure. Tonight, we shall see and hear them again under a new light not as interpreters and competitors, but as the performers of our time, singing the songs of then and now. Singing a special arrangement by Toti Fuentes, please welcome Richard Merck, Haji Alejandro, Cynthia Patag, Nanette Inventor, Mitch Valdez, Pinky Marquez, Mon David, and Marco Cesar. Oh, yeah. 
Tumis ng umaga sa may kubaw May isang babae nagpapayo Naisip ko, heto na ang hinihitay mo Libuyat ang sabi ko At biglang sabi mo'y mukhang ulan May lugar pa dito si Yesu muna Sa diabang swerte, swerte lang pag Ng 
quarta, quem foi na quarta? Anna Metropop Song Festival returns. Close to two decades ago, a group of individuals concerned about promoting the Filipino music industry launched the Metro Manila Popular Music Festival. It was from that music festival that the 1996 Metro Pop Song Festival was reborn. As we celebrate the rebirth of the Metro Pop Song Festival tonight, the 1996 Metro Pop Song Festival Management Committee takes the opportunity to give tribute to members of the music industry through a special award. The Antonio C. Barrero Achievement Award recognizes and honors deserving individuals with significant and lasting contributions to the growth and development of Filipino music in acknowledgement of the noteworthy achievements of the late Antonio C. Barrero. Antonio C. Barrero was born in San Fernando, La Union in 1934. A life of dedicated service to the public was one which he led. He practically breathed broadcasting from 1961 when he started as director in the Association of Philippine Broadcasters to his last as Executive Vice President of the Republic Broadcasting System Incorporated, or GMA, in 1993. He took an active part in similar endeavors of several organizations dealing with communications locally and abroad. He involved himself with projects for the disabled, like the Philippine Sports Foundation for the Disabled, Philippine Rehabilitation Fund, and the Philippine Foundation for the Rehabilitation of the Disabled. He also geared his efforts towards values and education, 
by being part of the Family Council of St. Teresa's College, Sambayanan Educational Foundation, and being founding director of the Parents Organization of the Philippines. Antonio Barrero was an executive of the Popular Music Foundation of the Philippines Incorporated, a foundation for the growth, development, and promotion of Filipino music which inspired the 1996 Metropop Song Festival which we are celebrating this evening. With his devotion to be of service to mankind and for the greater glory of the Lord, setting a good example for others to follow, it is but fitting and proper that the award be named in his honor as the Antonio C. Barrero Award. And tonight, we wish to give tribute to an individual who by his musical works and compositions has greatly contributed in defining the elusive sound of original Filipino music. The Festival Management Committee of the 1996 Metropop Song Festival has chosen a composer, songwriter, musical director, and educator to be the first recipient of the Antonio C. Barrero Award. The recipient, Mr. Ryan Cayabiato. Presenting the award is Mrs. Zenaida Barrero, wife of the late Antonio C. Barrero, accompanied by their son, Mr. Bobby Barrero, who is GMA's Executive Vice President for Marketing and Senior Vice President for Network Operations. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Ryan Gayabiao. Um, nagpapasalamat ako sa GMA, sa RBS Foundation. At uh, <clears throat> kung mamarapati ninyo, gusto ko lang magkwento ng maiksing kwento tungkol kay Mr. Barrero. Alam niyo po, first time ko nakasama namin siya sa Seoul, Korea, yung first Metro Pop Song Festival. Dinala namin ni Haji doon yung awiting kay ganda ng ating musika. At nung, araw, nung gabing yun, dun sa, nung panahon na yun, Yung mga ibang contestants, siyempre iba-iba ho yung kanyang uh, lyrics, letra. May iba-ibang uh, dialects at iba-iba. May English, may kung ano-ano. Alam niyo ho, si Mr. Barrero ho, nagdala siya. So out of perhaps, uh, naunahan na niya lahat ng tao, nagdala po kami, at dahil sa kanya, ng translation ng kaiganda ng ating musika. Pinaprint po niya, niligyan niya ng English uh, translation ng kanta, at nilagay namin sa ilalim ng mga... Um, door sa ilan ng pintuan ng mga bawat judges para maintindihan nila kung ano yung mga kanta, kung ano yung ibig sabihin ng kanta. Mga kaibigan, ngayon ko lang masasabi sa inyo na palagay ko 50% po ng aming pagpanalo nung sa Seoul, Korea ay eh dahil naintindihan nila yung kanta. Nagpapasalamat ako kay Hinoong Antonio Barrero sa kanilang kay Mrs. Barrero at kay Bobby. Maraming salamat again sa GMA at sa RBS Foundation. Thank you very much for this Orlina piece. Bang mahalin ko to. Thank you. Congratulations. Ryan, congratulations. And may we take this opportunity to also greet him a very happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ryan. <laughs> we can say that our recipient traces his roots and popularity to the very first Metro Manila Popular Music Festival when his song won the grand prize. Yet many will say that it could be the other way around. Through the beautiful voices of Donna Cruz and the company, with guest instrumentalists Cesar Aguas, Noel Mendez, Menchu Apostol, Janu Villanueva, Roger Herrera, in a special arrangement by Lori B. Illustre, we would like to say to Mr. Ryan Kayabiab, Ryan, kay ganda ng iyong musika.
mamamalas ang mga bagay-bagay na di ko natanto sa aking
liwanag ng buwan Mahihimbing ako
ating pagbabalik, malalaman na natin kung sino sa labindalawang finalists ang magwawagi sa 1996 Metropop Song Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, in a little while we will find out who our winners are, but the night we are celebrating and the songs we all heard would not be complete without the musicians and the voices who accompanied them. Mga kaibigan, a round of applause para sa ating orchestra, the Metropop Song Festival Orchestra. Yes! Napakagaling. Mga kaibigan, to uh, present the awards, we have back on stage Mr. Minardo Jimenez, GMA's President and Chief Executive Officer, and Mr. Bobby Barrero, Chairman of the Festival Management Committee. They will be awarding the cash prize sa ating mga winners and of course, a beautiful glass sculptured trophy by renowned artist Ramon Orlina. Ito na po. Iaabot sa amin ng uh, partner, of course, from uh, SGV and Company, Mr. Leo Matignas Jr. Malalaman na po natin kung sino ang mga nagwagi. Starting with the third prize winner who will receive a cash prize of 200,000 pesos. And there they are. You can see the energy that is all, uh, packed backstage. Hi, guys! <laughs> all eagerly awaiting the content of this envelope. Mm -hmm. 1996 Metro Pop Song Festival Third, third Prize. prize. 200,000 pesos. Hmm. The 1996 Metropop Song Festival final results. The 1996 Metropop Song Festival third prize goes to... Ang Awit Mo. Composer and lyricist, Greg Caro. Composer and lyricist, Mr. Greg Caro, receiving the award from Mr. Nart Jimenez and Mr. Bobby Barreiro. Congratulations! Congratulations! Um, Ang sarap naman. <laughs> At ngayon naman. At ngayon naman. Para sa susunod, a cash award of 300,000 pesos awaits our second grand prize winner. Second grand prize winner. And Again. now, the envelope. Will you do the honors, Don? I'd love to. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are we all ready now? The 1996 Metro Pop Song Festival second prize goes to. Ah, magkano ito? Magkano ito? 300,000 pesos. Shine! Composer lyricist Gina Belamide. Makintab na. Makintab na makinta. 
Congratulations, Trina Belamide and Sweet Plantado. When we return, we'll find out who will win the grand prize of half a million pesos in the 1996 Metropop Song Festival. Magka grand prize na medyo. Ayaw, ayaw ko na, parang... And now, <laughs> let us call out the grand prize winner. Again, oh. to be awarded by Mr. Menardo yeah. Jimenez and okay. Mr. Bobby Barreiro. Mm -hmm. May we ask again SGV and company to give us now. The first prize winner, ladies and gentlemen, will be receiving a cash prize and a trophy. Cash yes. prize of 500,000 pesos. Gusto ko makita yung mga mukha nila bago ko buksan ito. Ayan, ayan silang lahat. You can see them backstage awaiting. Tapos ang susunod natin tignan yung envelope. <laughs> 1996 Metro Pop Song Festival Grand Prize. Hinugod. Pero muna bago ang lahat. Congratulations sa lahat ng mga finalists. Okay? Yes. Kaya nang sinasabi natin, <laughs> lahat ng labing dalawa, winner talaga yan. Winner yan lahat. May kanya-kanyang ganda, may okay. kanya-kanyang galing. So congratulations to all the to finalists. All the, finalists. the 1996 Metropop Song Festival Grand Prize goes to... Tingnan mo nga lang. Sometimes you just know. Sometimes you just know. <laughs> Mr. Danny Tan and Miss Edith Gallardo. Congratulations, Salahat and winners. Atikit sa lahat, mabuhay ang musikang Pilipino. We hope to see you in a year from now in the 1997 Metro Pop Song Festival. Maraming salamat po and as we bid you goodbye, we now present to you the grand prize winning song in the 1996 Metro Pop Song Festival. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the grand prize winner, sometimes you just know, Jaya.
sometimes you know Love is starting to grow, yeah You can't say no Feelings will show Your heart says that sometimes you just know Somehow you know Someone really loves you so There may be doubts Of what the love's all about Sometimes you do just know that it's love Yes, it is.